Even if you leave a blank check at an off-road shop for your Jeep Wrangler, sub, or truck, there will be a limit to where you may travel. There are amphibious vehicles available if you need to cross water. You'll need a vehicle with tracks if you need to cross snowy mountains. You can eat something with more than four wheels if tracks aren't appropriate. They aren't cheap, but with the correct tool for the job, you can go practically anywhere in the globe in any condition. Let's get started with number 10. A Sherp ATV. Sherp had a straightforward brief when it came to designing the ultimate ATV. In actuality, the brief called for a simple design. The ATV needs to be simple to fix with few tools and have few electrical components that could fail. It had to be able to travel across marshes and forest floors full of deadfall, as well as across rivers and sand dunes. The Sherp ATV has grip on any terrain and can float through water thanks to its 800-liter volume tires with a displacement capacity of over 7,000 pounds. In fact, because the Sherp ATV body is hermetically sealed, it will float even if the tires are completely deflated or the wheels fall off. Number 9. Burlak 6x6. The Burlak, like the Sherp ATV, is a Russian-made vehicle. The BTR-60 armored personnel carrier is the basis for this six-wheeled amphibious vehicle. It's also designed to go to and from the North Pole. The body is well insulated, has a kitchen and a shower, and the engine can be serviced and repaired from the inside. It can hold 10 people, has a floatable body, and a propeller for when it falls into the water. Number 8. Ripsaw EV2 and EV3. EV does not stand for electric vehicle in this situation. Instead, it stands for extreme vehicle, and its super tank platforms are one of the world's most sought after high performance, luxury vehicles, according to How and How Technologies. Each one takes six months to hand build and can cost up to half a million dollars. If it appears familiar, it may have appeared in the Fast and Furious 8 film or on the Grand Tour television show. The Ripsaw EV2 is powered by a 6.6-liter .6 Duramax engine that can produce up to 1,500 horsepower, depending on how much you want to spend. Number 7. Tinker Track. There are many of options out there, such as the Tinker Track, if you require something a little smaller and more nimble. It's designed to perform the functions of a swamp buggy, a snowmobile, an amphibious vehicle, or even a tractor, while simultaneously being able to go through the tiny confines that a quad bike is often designed to navigate through. The Tinker Track is small, light, and the three-cylinder engine is known for its durability. It can cross ditches, go up 40-degree slopes, and cross rivers. Number 6. Autocross Shaman the Shaman is an eight-wheel beast with a 3.0-liter Iveco truck engine driving all eight wheels with a manual six-speed transmission, and the Russians appear to be ruling the extreme ATV market. The Shaman's front four wheels handle steering and making it extremely agile. It has a sealed boat frame that allows it to enter the water while hauling a driver enough to eight people. Although it is a large vehicle, Autocross claims that it is not too large for public roads. Number 5. Gibbs Terraquad. Gibbs is known for its entertaining amphibious vehicles. The Terraquad is a good off-road vehicle on land, with a four-cylinder engine producing 140 horsepower. When you transport it from dry terrain to water, the wheels lift and flatten, allowing the jet propulsion system to take over. It's also a useful little beast, with seating for two and a little truck bed in the back. On land, it can hit 50 mph, but on water, it can reach 45 mph, which is fast enough to tow a skier behind it. Number 4. Argo Aurora 950 SXR Argo offers a large ATV lineup, with the Aurora 950 SXR at the top. It has a 40 HP B-Twin engine, airlock bead-locked wheels that allow the tire pressure to be readily adjusted for the terrain, progressive dual-rate steering, a roll cage, and it's amphibious when the path runs out. The dirt and swim tires on Argo provide propulsion, and there are eight of them to ensure you get to the other side. 
The Aurora 950SXR is Argo's premium model, built to go anywhere in any season. Number 3. Rockin Trailbreaker Since 1963, Rockin has been producing heavy-duty off-road two-wheel drive motorcycles for sale, and the Trailbreaker has evolved since then. Full-time front and rear-wheel drive, the capacity to climb a 60% incline, a 14-inch ground clearance, and hollow drum wheels that provide flotation in mud, sand, or snow are among the beneficial characteristics. The U.S. Armed Forces, Forest Service, Fish and Game Officials, Large game hunters, trail builders, farmers, ranchers, and even treasure hunters are among the groups and persons that have used the trailbreaker, according to Rocket. Number 2. Kamei's Race Truck Kamei's may sell you one of these fantastic trucks if you have Russian oligarch-level wealth. With the current generation of the racing beast, Kamei's, a Russian truck manufacturer, has been dominating the rally raid truck globe. For years, the firm has been a regular participant in the Dakar event, winning 16 times in the truck class. The latest version of the race truck is powered by a Cummins 13-liter six-cylinder turbocharged engine that produces 1,150 horsepower. It weights 9.5 tons and each tire weighs 330 pounds, but it has a 50-50 weight distribution is merrily pounding its way across sand dunes at insane speeds. Number 1. Parajet Explorer The Parajet USA Skyjet was available for pre-order in 2009. It was a compact buggy with a top speed of 115 mph and a 0-60 mph time of roughly 4 seconds. It can also fly thanks to its paraglider wing. Now, more than a decade later, Parajet is back with the Explorer, an all-terrain vehicle that combines ram air parafoil wing technology with a light airplane. It's also not just a regular buggy on the ground, featuring pressurized nitrogen shocks, inverted double wishbone suspension, and one of the world's most potent power-to-weight ratio engines. It is powered by a 600cc twin rotor RT600 EFI rotary engine that produces roughly 100 horsepower. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and comment, and we will try our possible best to reply as soon as possible.